Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to John Wick Hex, where we are in the perfect trap. But foolish men have made the mistake of letting you out. Is it the perfect trap if you forget to close it? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not its not the trap's fault, right? So the very first thing I notice is that uh, shotguns. We are, we are maybe going to actually get to use some shotguns. I'm excited about that. These guys are both just guarding? Did they forget why they opened the vault? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to here then. Oh, he's immediately going to shoot me. Well, how about I immediately shoot him first? We're definitely gonna get shot by the other guy if we go for this, right? What if I instead move to right here? I'm wondering if we can move to right here and then execute a takedown that ends with us in cover. Uh, this might we might be out of that guy's line of sight. You know what? If we screw up right away and die, it's not like we've lost anything. Nope, that was not, in fact, out of his line of sight. Well, I think I'm just going to shoot this guy a bunch of times. Well, you can, uh, you can get ready to fire that thing again really quickly, huh? Alright, so, remember, we have not had, uh, we've not had an opportunity to spend Continental Coins here. <laughs> I tried to crouch behind the boxes. Um... So we don't have our usual bonus chance to dodge from being, um, from moving. Which means that I have to be a lot smarter. This time I have to actually not get shot at very much. We can afford to crouch here and then... Oh, that sucks. Um, okay, well, we could roll out to there. That might break line of sight with this guy. If I just sit here and fire, I'm definitely going to get shot. Well, with this guy having about almost half a second of movement left, we might have time to double tap and roll again. This is working, as silly as it is. Definitely stand, refocus. Let's try to make it across the shotgun before anybody else shows up. Well, we still have so much ammo left in our pistol though, and we know there are more guys coming. Hold on. Let's step forward a little bit and see if we can't remove a couple of these easy dudes before we switch weapons. I'm not gonna want to run back for it. Nah, eh, whatever. I guess we'll just keep moving with the with the handgun. I really do like John's handgun quite a bit. It's interesting that that guy is still, like, showing up for us. Yeah, I, I would have expected him to disappear completely. Alright, I'm not going to bother shooting the martial artist. We're just going to go straight for this guy. Alright, uh, I think we'll stick with our gun for right now, even over the machine pistol. I'm going to need to reload here in a second, no matter how I do this, so we may as well just shoot him. And then... Wow. That, uh, the parry has a real gross sound to it. It kind of sounds like John just sticks his finger right in the guy's eye. Not ideal. I mean, I'm saying not ideal audio work because I'm grossed out. Maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe it is precisely ideal. Uh, oh, the elevator controls are right there. 16 seconds. Okay, well, I think we probably want to be... Okay, let's be over here. Expecting a lot of guys to come through the door. We can very easily have cover from the other door in this location. But we can also see it if we want to see it. Uh, let, me, let me zoom out a little bit more here. Is there any other entrance? There is not. So we can watch them both pretty, uh, pretty easily. Ooh, this guy's spawning with a shotgun nice and late in the level. This, uh, this one, this might be one we take. Oh, hey there. Hey there, dude. Hey, fast-moving guy. Uh, we're definitely gonna just dodge out of line of sight. Hmm, how do I want to handle this? This is an interesting thing that has occurred. I think I want to just shoot at him. The martial artist is executing 0.7 seconds of movement. I think by the time he squares up with us again, we'll be we'll be ready for him. 
Actually, yeah, that went that went even. He took an even longer walk than I thought he was going to. Seven shots left. These poor guys. All right, definitely give me that shotgun and let's get the hell out of here. Uh, I'm gonna ignore him if it will let me. Ooh, a heavyweight. This is an even better melee guy. Let's take him down into this corner and then... That guy's gonna come around in a second. I don't really want to spend shotgun ammunition, but I think we're, we're probably gonna have to. Uh, so... Shooting this guy would kill him, but I think it probably also gets me shot. Why don't we wait? Oh, that guy's just a brawler, though. Use a takedown to make ourselves effectively not hittable by the uh, the other melee guy, because they're terrible at, at doing anything to you while you're moving. Uh-oh. That's not great. Uh, I really thought that was going to get me out of his line of sight. Well... He missed the... I guess, I guess I had partial cover? Missed the point blank uh, shot. I managed to throw my shotgun all the way around the corner. I get, it bounced off of his face, I guess. It's the the face is not a. Uh, it's a pretty complicated surface. It has a lot of angles. A lot of stuff can happen. These boxes contain the precious possessions of the great and good. Not that it matters. It's true. John does not even steal a single gold ingot. You'd think he would want to take a bunch, because first of all, like gold, you could press your own continental coins. He killed everyone, I imagine. Of course. Unimpressive withdrawal. But also, in addition to, uh, in addition to the monetary value of them, gold is heavy. It'd probably throw, like, you could, you could do a lot of damage to a guy by throwing gold at him. It's heavy, it's also soft, but it's not so soft that it wouldn't hit you like a big piece of metal. It's just, me it's metal relative soft. Oh, this is a little complicated. Okay, let's step over here. Because I don't think I have time to shotgun that guy. The, the shotgun wind-up seems to be very long. Let's do a takedown through him. I don't know if I want to put myself in the stacks here. It gives you very limited options for getting out. We could do this. Okay. I think he actually used the shotgun in that strike animation, so that's cool. Where the hell am I going? Is it? It is. Okay, it is this way. I'm going for that door. I think environments like this. Oh wow, he just like <laughs> he just walked right up to me. Well, okay. Environments like this with like a lot of stuff in the way, a lot of short, broken up sight lines, or at least a lot of ways to break up sight lines really um, suit the game's mechanics a lot better than the like the streets and alleyways that we were seeing a lot at the beginning. Uh, do I want to do a takedown here? I don't think so. I'm a little worried that if I... I'm going to wait a second. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's a machine pistol guy. I think we have to back up. Oh, this is not... This is not tall. I thought I was... Um, I thought I was in a much safer position there than I was. <laughs> yep, just thumb directly in the eye. That guy's about to stop walking, which is to say that I'm about to be aimed at. Now we can go for the strike when I, when I know that I'm going to lose that guy in a second. Uh, I'm not close enough to melee him, really? I guess I'm not quite on the node. I think if we move up here, it will probably be too late to go for the parry, so I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm being shot, I'm being aimed at from behind, okay. Maybe just run? Oh, I, I can't run because this guy's not down. Okay, uh, you need to stop being a thing. We still get 
some bonus to our evasion from moving. It is turning out to be enough a fair amount of the time. I can't believe that that guy was able to see me through all that. Okay, I'm so glad that they split up. He's close enough that we will probably get to melee him. Yeah, and then we can just spam strike. I know it's gonna it's gonna take a little while, but uh, you know what? I'll do a takedown through him. This will buy us enough time to refocus afterward. There you go. That's as good as using strike. It's actually a little bit better than using strike. But yeah, in a position like this where you have a lot of um, a lot of places to go, a lot of possible movements, you, you're making way more meaningful decisions. I'm just going to back off of this guy. Alright, if he wants to come over here and fight away from the door, I'm cool with that. Was that sound? It was not that door. Okay, it's this door. Which means that all of a sudden this is maybe not the place I want to be standing anymore. Okay. Not ideal. The push will finish him off, and I think we need it. Ooh, it takes a long time to execute the push. Yeah, I think I think it, we just want to strike, actually. Then I gotta get up on this guy and have at him before he recovers. Stupid repeated action penalty. Very inconvenient in that one particular instance. Okay, we are finally, I think, ready to move forward. We focus real quick. So we don't immediately see anybody. The door is right there. I don't think we have to shoot this guy just yet. I am going to shoot this guy, though. My concern there was just that if, if that dude came around the corner while we were locked in melee combat, it could have been real awkward for us, but I think we're, we're okay. I'm actually... Let's try to limit the number of enemies we're dealing with at one time here. His attack is long enough that we might... Oh no, he's a little further away than I thought. We probably cannot move up to him and, and execute a parry. I could get all the way to here, but I think... I think he still has line of sight on us there. I think our only real option here is throw the gun. Ah. Okay, this guy has uh, really screwed up very badly. I don't know what he was thinking. What a moment for that door to open. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to shoot that guy instead. We just gotta... We gotta lower the number of enemies in this area. So take down through, followed by a cleanup strike. Do I want to grab... I probably, it's, it's not very convenient for me to grab another gun. There will almost certainly be an enemy at the beginning of the next area, because they just love doing that so that you can pick up a new gun. So let's just go do let's go do that thing. They really shouldn't though. It's it's a little silly that I can count on that being the case. Monitors glow and buzz with imaginary wealth and speculative fortune. I mean that's like a real world issue. It's not very exciting, I think, as um as preparatory text for a John Wick level. And they actually did not give us free access to a gun. I'm shocked. I mean, I guess it it hasn't been literally every level. Is that just a normal guy? Oh, that's a pretty tough guy. Surprise! Okay, that'll do. It's no it's no shotgun, but it'll do. 
Ooh, now that right there, that is a weapon. That guy 100% was not aware of us until I shot him. Uh, is that just... Okay, yeah, that is a melee dude. We have plenty of time to pick up this gun. Actually, he doesn't seem to be aware of me at all. Uh, we can break line of sight pretty easily here. Oh, did I see another enemy? I sure did. There's a shotgun guy all the way over there. Well, the good news is, I'm sure this gun is better than his at that range. I was kind of hoping that melee guy was not going to be aware of us yet. Oh, hey, even more dudes. Okay, this, this guy got in on me a little bit more than I would like. We can just dodge out. And then, <laughs> then immediately get shot, I suppose. That makes sense, you know? That's what I would have done in his position. Ah. It's not going to give me the, the, free, uh, the free shot. Well, I did a takedown into his shooting uh, angle. I think I'm just going to go for the strike, though. Like, yeah, he's... That was my, my thinking there was he's probably not just going to stand there and wait for me. He could have outthought me, but he didn't. And I would love to resolve this without having to spend any more ammo. Well, now that you've shot me once, I feel like I can finish the strikes. Uh, what is that? That is a martial artist. Tough dude. Alright, can I still see the shotgun guy from here? I was hoping to, uh, to pull him with some damage. Alright, well, let's get a new gun and get ready to deal with the thing that I just unleashed upon us. That really sucks. That missing probably kills me, right? I am almost certainly dead. Uh, can we... I need to go... I need to go this way. Uh, I don't have enough... I don't have enough focus to do the thing I need to do here. Gotta refocus. Then I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get a gun. Okay, good. This is... I was hoping that this guy would come... I was hoping they would split up, because I, I need to be able to take down the martial artist. A door opened somewhere. Well, it's not the door right next to us, which is kind of the only thing that matters at the moment. So let's do this, and then... The strike. And we should have plenty of time to move out of the way here. And then move back into the way. That guy's just a martial artist. So we have time to knock this guy around a little bit, grab a gun, and then do a takedown. Which means I think we should be able to get out of this. I mean, I really, I really want to finish the duo on the ground, but I don't think I have time. I think I have to do a takedown here and then finish him off. You... Probably should not just strike you. And I need to keep moving here. That was incredibly ineffective. What a bad job I did. I just <laughs> go for the groin until there's nothing left. Completely flatten that dude out. Do you know who's probably a real bad martial artist? Ken. Wait, actually, it's not super clear. Listen, some Kens are good martial art. I, I was like, Barbie's... You know what? You know what I was trying to say. Ken Masters is fine. He's no guile, but he's fine. Okay, you didn't want to step forward any further? That's a shame. All 
All right, it is probably not reasonable for me to finish this without, um, ooh, I don't like that. His shot is gonna be a lot faster than ours. I think I need to break line of sight. Yeah, there we go, this is what I wanted. Uh, it's probably not reasonable for me to finish this without bandaging, is what I was gonna say. Ah. But I was really nervous about doing it there. Like, I, I intend to bandage, is my point. But I was nervous about doing it there because I didn't think that, um... I didn't think we were safe yet. I figured there were going to be more enemies incoming. Okay. I do feel like this area is a lot longer than some of them. I, I, I guess the uh, the escape we did after the second boss was pretty long. Surrender your gun to me. All oh, right, this guy's right here. Uh, here, have this gun. Ooh, I don't like the fact that the takedown takes exactly as long as it takes for that guy to fire his first shot. I also don't like everything else that's happening here. Oh, I'm not adjacent to that guy. They're all... yeah, they're all gonna shoot me. Yeah, I'm just dead. Alright. Bud, finish me off. Let me try that again. We need to um, have more bullets <laughs> than we do. So I definitely can't use the shotgun for anything other than finishing, or anything other than hitting the guy who has the carbine, because we need that gun. Once I have that, we can screw around a little bit. Still, I still cannot believe that there's no animation. Man, that sucked. There's no animation for uh, striking a downed opponent, given that that's a thing you have to do constantly. Like, they made an enemy whose health is exactly takedown plus strike, and they didn't bother to think, well, maybe somebody will do a takedown and then a strike. All right, we're going to have to bring these, uh, these shooters back here. Uh, I guess let's do it this way. There we go. That's a better way to break line of sight, because that guarantees that we're not visible. Whereas the other way, shoot, I think, would have been able to get a shot off, and we would have had to rely on our stacked-up modifiers to not get hit. John is uh, quite a bit faster than these enemies are. I think we gotta go this way. Alright. It's basically, uh, basically just getting lucky at this point. This time I'm gonna do... Maybe strike, strike, and then run. I think going for the takedown is probably gonna get me shot. the old John Wick two-step, but backwards. Okay, that guy really thought he was onto something, I think. Wait, what if I don't dick around and just actually chase him? Well, it turns out that doesn't work either, sorry. Alright, let's, um, let's step behind this thing and bandage. Right, there is still the good gun out here. We just need we need to be carrying something while we're on the way over to it, because I could totally get shot again. What am I? Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way I have a shot on that. Although with this I probably do. I'm not gonna bother. We'll deal with that guy when we get over there. Now see, this one, this one is maybe worth shooting it with this thing. I know it's a long range shot. What if I, um, crouch down here? Yeah, that's better.
Okay. I think that's very good for us. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep moving. Dude can catch up. Okay, it's just a revolver guy anyway. That's a little lower percentage than I would like. He's willing to go for it, though. His shot can't be good. That's not great. Ow. And this door just opened. This is starting to get a little bad all over the place here. Okay, revolver guy. Wow. <laughs> John karate the hell out of that dude. I probably have him, right? Uh, I have an 80% chance of having him. Okay, let's go get that shotgun. Let's throw this rifle. Oh, missed. Seems like John Wick could maybe learn a little something from Agent 47. 47 would never let the fact that uh, the projectile would have to curve around a corner and chase a guy for several seconds get in the way of hitting a hitting somebody with a thing. Definitely overkill. But you know, you can't spell overkill without kill. It's not really great in You know what I'm trying to express. God, it's machine pistols. The bullets really come off quickly. So do we advance? We probably have to go back and get his gun. Like we don't, I don't think we actually have a lot of choices here. Which is unfortunate for a whole host of reasons, but... So that guy has a machine pistol as well. We can't just stand here and shoot this dude. Ooh, that seems very dangerous, though. I think we have to, but yeah, it's pretty much guaranteeing that I would get shot from the other side. What a bad gun this is. Hey, give me this thing. Nope. Just can't, just can't do that that way. Okay, here, here we have a shot. Because it takes the revolver guy so long to, to get around the corner. Uh, this isn't the way I wanted this to work out. I want the machine pistol... Machine pistol guy has to become visible first for this for this to work. Because otherwise he just shoots us while we're setting up. Okay. Annoying. As much as I don't like the machine pistol, this one does have a fair number of bullets in it. Can I bandage again? I'm, we're actually down to one bandage. This is the first time where I'm thinking we shouldn't bandage, not because I'm trying to preserve my score, but because we legitimately might run out of resources. Alright, how many areas do we have left? Is it three? Yeah, it is three, with one bandage. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and find one. The underside of the bank is carved out of stone. Impervious. I think that's actually fairly common with, you know, buildings. All right, let's... That's not really that far away. I'm assuming this is gonna be mostly just surviving the elevator, elevator timer. Probably shouldn't do anything other than just punch this guy a lot. Actually, can I do it? Yeah, take down into the corner here seems pretty safe. Do 
Do I want a nine shot pistol over? Yeah, I think I do. See, the, the machine pistol's fast aim thing is really good for the enemies, but it's a lot less good for me because I need to feel like my shots are going to hit. I never, I can never count on the machine pistol interrupting somebody, which makes it a lot harder to, uh, a lot harder to want to carry it around. Kind of want to just keep moving here. Like I know that we have a martial artist chasing us, but I kind of want to drag him around to a place where we have cover from the people behind us. You know what? Let's just pace this dude. I can't believe he survived that. We're dead. I... Mm, that's frustrating. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, uh... Let's try that again. I really got caught off guard by the, um... The guy who did not spawn. There's one guy who must just already be on the map waiting over there. And because I hadn't heard a door, I was not ready for him. That's a hell of a way to start things. Okay. I got very lucky there. Maybe I should just bandage. I really, really want to try to hold out for a little bit longer, though. So this guy, somebody just spawned, but they won't have vision of us just yet. Where'd he go? He must have, he must have gone over here. Oh. Or was going to go over there, but then changed her mind. Mm, all right. Oh no, never mind. We'll just go for this one. I mean, if I'm about to swap guns anyway, right? Uh, revolver guy's not a problem unless he starts aiming at us. I like to get into a position where I'm more likely to actually get the hit. I have no idea what he is doing. He's not not a problem to such a degree that I can just ignore him. Like he does he does have to die. What am I doing? I'm acting like I'm going up that ramp. This is the thing. Call the elevator. Six seconds. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's maybe step over here. Oh, apparently things are going to get a little more complicated pretty quickly. Uh, we have to shoot this guy a little... Like, I, this guy has to die really quickly, right? <sighs> right through the box and apparently directly through the center of my torso. But you'd never know it. I feel fine. And machine pistol plus heavyweight. Okay, we gotta... We gotta keep moving here. The whole reason I wanted to shoot that first guy was so that we would not be just standing in front of the elevator door when it opened while with our back turned. Not exactly working out the way I wanted. We're actually in really dire shape here. I hate this. I do not want to have to do this with a revolver. Uh, okay. Take down to here so that I can dodge behind the pillar in a second. I have five shots. That took even longer than I thought it was going to. Like, in terms of... Obviously, I could see the number of seconds, but in terms of the amount of actions it was going to allow our enemies, that was that may as well have been a gun that took an eternity to fire. 
Okay, a little bit of randomization on the setup. That's actually nice to see. If I stand right here, does that make it impossible for enemies to spawn? Also, John's way, John's uh, martial arts are having that shagifying effect on people again. I guess that's what happened to Shaggy to make him like he is. He had a, an encounter with John Wick, presumably before he hooked up with the uh, Mystery Inc. gang. Yeah, I could see that. Shaggy's like a, he's a small-time peddler. He's involved in some criminal activity and... He didn't do anything to warrant John's attention. He was just one of these one of these mooks who's on the on the scene when John shows up. And unusually, the Baba Yaga showed mercy that day, but not before executing a takedown that would change Shaggy's life life forever. It's also the only reason he can hear it when the dog speaks. brush with John Wick, you know, it just has some, it has some effects on a person. Usually those effects are lethal. Well, yeah, it, okay, it has some effects and some side effects. Oh, jeez. How is that guy right there? <laughs> How did that happen? No, I still want to do the takedown, please. Ooh, okay, maybe I need to be, um, right here? Yeah, that works. Man, tough dude. Okay, I have six shots left. There's a seven shot gun on the floor. Let's do this and then step this way. And then I th think we can just do a strike to clean him up. I'm gonna go, okay. I was gonna go for that. I think we, we could have gotten that, probably. Uh, let's take a second, shake it off. That guy's still walking over here. Well, that's not so good. Which door just opened? It wasn't that one or that one. It wasn't any of the ones near us, which is probably good enough. I really don't want a bandage yet, but I think we might have to here. This part this part gets pretty hard. Alright. Yeah, a dude spawning the second you hit the elevator door really sucks. Okay, what if we go this way instead? I can make it to some cover over here. And that guy, for some reason, wants to walk up there. That that suits us just fine. Uh, five shots left. I think I want to get back in front of the elevator and just shoot the armed guy in the elevator immediately. Uh, I might not have time for this. No, I think we gotta back off. So we execute a takedown on you me over here. Okay. There's a gun back here with one bullet and a... Mm, this is grim. Okay, there is a real gun over there with real ammunition in it. The thing is, we can't afford to just hang out and shoot... Uh, hang out and punch people. So we're gonna have to shoot these melee enemies more than I usually do. I think... This should get me out of the gunman's line of sight. Ah, that's bad. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get uh, grappled for such a long time there. What am I seeing? I thought he was indicating that he saw a new enemy, but I guess not. Okay. Didn't get shot through sheer blind luck there. Oh. So let's see. You're almost out of health. I'm going to step over here. Ooh. I'm not going to be able to get a push. 
This push almost takes me out of the way. This guy's still m moving for another third, uh, another third of a second. That's not good enough. Uh, I just don't have any attacks that are fast enough. Okay, take down to here. That leaves you with two health. I'm gonna take this opportunity to land the strike. This might be bad. Yeah, and then we just gotta rush this dude. And I'm gonna get shot a little bit, and that's just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to... Oh wow, he managed to miss both those shots. That gun is really unreliable. Tell you what, let me take that off your hands for you. You're just gonna get yourself hurt. I think we have time for a strike, because that guy's walking out of line of sight. I probably don't have time to pick this gun up, but I can do this, make him reset his aim, and then pick the gun up. Not quite as clean as I had imagined it. Yeah, like, look at the... Look at the percentage of those shots that miss. It's just... It's a very embarrassing weapon to have to use. That said, I'm gonna make a sprint for the elevator with it instead of going back to get the 9mm, because I want to get the hell out of this level. So much more compelling of an experience when it's actually difficult. The staff is long gone. Their offices provide ample cover to enemies. Whoever's writing these does not I know how some of this works. the loyalty of my man. I know about ally for Mr. Weak. Of a sort. He quivered and cried in the face of a monster. Helped Wick escape so he could keep gulping down air. Smart. No. It really wasn't. Well, that was nice of him. Alright, I have no bandages. I'm gonna keep an eye out for opportunities to, like... It's possible that there have been bandages that I have not noticed. Maybe I, maybe I haven't been thorough enough in the spaces, you know, at least potentially. Like this kind of thing. You just like look in, look in side rooms and stuff. All right, lots and lots of takedowns. Are you still right? Damage penalty for repeating actions. Okay. All right, nothing. Well, no way to go but forward. We should. Definitely not use any bullets yet, since we haven't seen a real gun. This is a little silly. Again, like, if it just... I think that this this game could get away with a lot more than it gets away with if it would just if it just looked a little bit more like John Wick while it was doing the the same things it's already doing. Like this thing where he like he jumps two people and that's that's totally a thing from the movies. That happens. But it sure doesn't look like this with people teleporting up off the floor and stuff. So every time you every time you get into melee with somebody, it's like it's like fighting your little cousin who's playing Raiden in the original Mortal Kombat. Uh, I will absolutely take that gun. Thank you for this. Alright. Alright, who's that? These don't exactly go into the same room. I should probably check this. Huh. Okay, I was gonna say, it can't be nobody. I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna get this shot off, so I'm just gonna take the throw. And the machine pistol starts firing way too quickly. Honestly, this 
I'm hesitating. I'm trying not to trying not to speak too soon here. But this feels less difficult than the last area. Last couple of areas. I really hate that I missed both those shots. That's so bad. We're gonna dodge over here. Okay. Into a place where I have some cover. I probably should have just punched that guy. I was just thinking we can lower the number of enemies really quickly, but I probably should. Probably screwed up there. Alright, take down for you. Alright, ten extra bullets is a blessing. Let's go make use of it. You know, or I guess we could hope to just get out of here without seeing any more enemies, but let's... Let's be realistic here. Pretty bad, actually. Pretty bad thing that happened there. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of you. And then... There we go. If we can if we can start aiming before he has a chance to, settle his, to set his feet, I, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Oh, this is bad, because we are going to have to um, travel a significant distance to get to him. Alright, my garbage gun versus your garbage gun. Let's see who wins. I think that pistol has just few enough shots in it for this to be the right move. Okay, and I mean, we're making it into the final area with plenty of health. Well, I mean, never enough, but quite a bit. An exit through the front door is rarely prudent. But none of this was planned, which is weird, because it kind of seems like that's... It seems like John usually has an idea of what's going on. Oh, hey, free, free, excellent gun. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not quite done yet, right? There we go. Right, well, we'll just step out of the way here. Who is that? That is just a melee character. Trying to use up my bad gun on the weak enemy before I bother to pick up the good gun. There we go. Did I see another new enemy? Hmm. Got an indicator, but it looks like the answer is actually no. Maybe it's somebody I've already lost vision of. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this then. I should make sure that I'm actually okay. <laughs> yes, I am going toward a staircase. Oh, hey, also good gun-having fellow. This is why John Wick doesn't usually talk during these. Okay, that is a revolver man. That famous Metal Gear Solid enemy revolver man. Uh, do I want to just pop this guy? You know what? I'm going to switch to the gun that has fewer bullets. And I'm going to do exactly that. I'm just going to shoot this guy. Can I not? Ooh, there, there we go. Step back over here, get the one that has all the bullets in it again, and then get back to what we were doing. Alright, this part's gone fairly smoothly f so far. I have to imagine this is... This is the bit where it gets tricky, though, right? What do I see? I see... Okay. Weak melee enemy. Also, guy who is a little bit more concerning. Probably stick with this gun for now. What do we... Uh, yeah, that's a distance that is great enough that we should just shoot him. Now we only have four shots left. I think we still keep moving, rather than picking up the SMG. This is where I'm going, right? Yeah, okay. And I was thoughtful enough to plant a gun on the floor ahead of time over here, just in case. Okay, we probably need to uh, change plans a little bit here. This is all pretty bad. 
Alright, so now I am out of ammunition. Alright, we're gonna have to... We might have to switch Keanu Reeve char Reeves characters here a little bit. This might... This might go best if we are a little bit less John Wick and a little bit more Neo. I'm gonna... Uh, this isn't really how I want to be using that guy's stun time, but I, we have to break line of sight. Okay, and then... Take down to here, I think, is the smart move. Hit this guy while he's down. Uh, that's gonna get me shot. Nope. Got me shot at. It's not exactly the same thing. It's a difference that feels extremely salient at this moment. Oh, thank god. Thank god that guy did that the long way. Assuming I do not have time to throw my gun. Never mind. Okay. Well, I think that was that went really well, actually, considering how many enemies there were in 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 that tight little space with super fast guns. I am overjoyed to have not taken any damage. Okay, double machine pistol. That guy's moving for quite a while, but I don't think there's a version of this where I can hit this guy without getting hit by that guy. I think I probably have to back up here. Oh, another one. I might be able to just shoot him. Nope, I have a 0% chance to hit him. He's moving, but when he stops moving, it'll still only be 20%. Yeah, that's not going to work either, though. Oh, John, this is a really bad time to not get the job done. Okay. 100%. Doesn't get any better than that. So now what? Do I run for a distant gun? No, I think I... I think I do something like this. Ooh. Okay. There's more of them than I thought. A strike here gets me shot for sure. Strike here might work, though. Okay. I managed to get a gun back in my hand. Now it's just a matter of getting to use it. Not totally safe. He only has two damage worth of bullets left, so I'm just going to take that one on the chin and sprint for it. Well, I'm really glad that I used our bandages exactly when we did, because if I had had any less health there, we would not have been able to escape. Yeah, that's getting harder. We didn't beat any of the bars. I was not far off on game time, and really close actually on shot accuracy. And what even was the other... Oh, you know what? I didn't actually, in a in a run that actually made it to the end of the level and counted, I didn't use the revolver, I don't think. Okay, well, hey, look, we're, we're almost doing a good job. It's very close to doing a good job. That sniveling banker had armed Wick with one final piece of information. The location of my daughter's stronghold in the mountains. An important location? From there, she controls my entire European operation. She is my most loyal lieutenant. But above all, she's my daughter. A renowned monster. Oh, more slander. Your kind will stop at nothing to ensure fealty. To ensure we stay under your heel. You have yet to feel that, my friend. Whatever your grievances are, we play no part in your petty squabble with the high table. You are everything. You're their infrastructure. You're their illusion of class and etiquette, which they think shields them from the judgment of the gods above even them. You are the embodiment of their corruption, their hypocrisy. They cover themselves in rules and coins and bullshit, and they think that makes them human. Ooh, so you decided to start a war. You think I started this? I know you did. 
My father is no longer with us. The sins you perceive against him do not justify your own. The only sins that matter now are those of Rick. Against my family. Because what he did next was unforgivable. You know, if the only sins that matter are, are John Wick's, this guy's been spending an awful lot of time talking about how much he hates the high table. Seems sort of, uh, maybe only tangentially related to the thing that's going on here. Alright, well, let's have a look at this, uh, this next map. So we now have access to all of the, uh, all of the tailoring options, which means we have to be getting close to the end. My bet is we're gonna do this area and then one more area where we end up actually killing Hex at the end. Uh, so that is gonna be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, come back next time for a level that I'm sure is going to be a massive pain in the Alps. And we'll see you then.